What's going on everybody? Marco here. I promised everybody I'd put out this clip about Be Do Have and here I am. Here's your training clip for the day. And this is going to be one of the most important parts, one of the most important things for you and your business or your future. Because you really, if, if you're not happy with where you are, you don't have a couple thousand bucks extra laying around as free cash flow, stuff like that, and you're having money problems, and you can't do go after your dreams and start your own business, then uh, something's got to change. You've got to change your internal habits and patterns, okay? So I always tell people, you know, well, you don't have an extra thousand bucks to start your own business or, or whatever. Well, so what have you been doing the last three years? So what were you doing three years ago? So has anything changed? Because if not, something's not working. You have to make a change. And a lot of times it's because people are employees. They're building somebody else's dreams, not their own. They're building somebody else's business. They're getting taxed to death in the worst tax category because it's never what you make. It's what you keep. So business owners, when you have your own home business in this world, you start saving thousands of dollars in taxes just from starting your own business because everything becomes a write-off, your cell phone, mileage, traveling, car expenses, things like that. And you can learn about that later on some other clips and stuff, some of the other posts in there and the website, but really you have to make a change if you don't have this extra money. And what you have to change is really your internal dialogue, okay, because people have this backwards. They, they, they start over here, be, do, have, you know, or, sorry, they start backwards and they think they need to have money to be doing the things they want to do to be successful. They think they need to have time. You know, oh, I don't have any time, I'm so busy. Well, see, I saw a quote on Facebook the other day, said, I don't find the time to work out, I make the time to work out. And that's with business. See, entrepreneurs do the same thing. You have to think like an entrepreneur. I hear so many people, oh, I'd love to do that, I just don't have any money. Well, the reason they don't have any money and the reason you might not have any money is because you're starting over here backwards, which is why you're where you're at. You're actually resisting the very thing you're trying to create, which is abundance and extra money. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain it. So, if there was a story back in the day, you know, the guy that was sitting there next to a big famous painter, he said, huh, I want to be a painter, but I just don't have any, I don't have any brushes. And if you want to be a painter, you have to decide that you want to be a painter and start doing the things that painters do like have brushes and find a way to get brushes and start painting and then you'll have that success in that industry I didn't you know sit there and go man I want a snowboard but I just don't have a snowboard I just went and found a snowboard I found a way and that's the same with entrepreneurship you have to decide to be that kind of person and find a way to get the money and then you're doing the things that successful people do and you'll have what they have Okay, it's completely backwards. If you, if you have a barrier that you don't want to buy stuff, you know, you don't want to invest in your business. And, and, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you now, you're buying stuff all the time. See, you, you subconsciously have this barrier where you might not want to invest in your business, but then it'll be impossible for you to ever create abundance or wealth if you can't get past that barrier of causing a transaction, a trade for business, or uh, you know a product or service for that money right so if you can't get past that barrier you're, you're resisting the very thing you're trying to create to be because to create abundance and uh, transactions going on you know you want money flowing in the world in, the, in order for that to happen and in your world you have to have a transaction going on right so you need to create your own transaction so you can see that once you're using the product you're, you're into it you're happy You've overcome your own obstacle. You got out of your own way, and now you're able to help other people do that. Because you might be thinking, "Oh, I don't want to buy that, or I don't want to get into that, or, or what's it going to cost me?" You need to understand it backwards. What's it going to cost you not to do this? Because if you've been doing something else and it hasn't been working, you have to make a change. You have to try something that does work. And what does work is building your own dreams, building your own business, starting at the top, wherever you are now. Either, another reason that you're struggling is because you're working at a business, somebody else's business that is designed to push you down, get you working the hardest you can work for the least amount of pay so that the business can make a profit. You're stuck in a corporate triangle, okay? And somebody's at the top, and the design is to push you down. So what you have to do is start your own business. You start at the top, and now you're building your own dreams, not somebody else's. You're investing in your business asset. You're not investing and in spending money on liabilities like cars and bigger TVs. What people actually do, which is why they'll never get ahead, they can never create abundance, 
It's not what you make, it's what you keep. You're losing thousands of dollars in taxes as a taxed employee. Okay? And really, when you're, when you're, you, you don't get financially educated and, and hang around the right people and get the right knowledge, you, you might get a raise, but you'll just get a bigger TV and a bit better car and, and keep yourself in debt for the rest of your life. And you'll be working for linear money for the rest of your life and you'll retire. You won't retire. You'll actually work until you're dead, 65, 75 years old because you never learned anything about money. I know a lot of really smart broke people. They've spent years and years and years in school but learned, never learned anything about money or leverage or financial IQ. So these are very important lessons. Remember, decide to be the person. If you want to be an entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur, you have to be that successful entrepreneur. Do the things that they do so you can have what they have. And that's what all these books are about. That's where all the seminars are about. That's where all my wealthy mentors have taught me and taught a lot of my friends and family and people. And it is just amazing and this whole world is nuts. So if you want to learn more about taxes, actually be able to get ahead, actually change your life and have money, free cash flow running around, abundance and time freedom, keep looking and I will see you on the next clip. Thanks.